my fellow Ambazonians, since you are the vast majority of my backbone, you are my own alma mater and uh, it's my base. I am going to inform you today that I have plans to launch a new platform that is going to be called the African People Advocacy Platform. I'm going to engage next month with a law firm in, in, uh, in Gambia to assist me to register this platform officially with the African uh, People's Right Court, which is the, the, the platform where organization, African organizations are, re are registered so that they can operate legally across Africa with uh, within the, the, the laws of the African Union. So I'm going to take that step to register a new platform. It's going to be my movement that I'm going to lead a network of many Pan-Africans to advocate for African people's rights, including and primarily the Ambazonian people's rights and many other Africans' people's rights. In my engagement with uh, the Ambazonian cause, I have been uh, linked and worked closely with a lot of African people with various problems across the globe. I've worked with the Biafran people and the Udua people. I've worked with the people of the Uganda. I've worked with people from Kenya. I've worked with people from South Africa, the Zulu nation. I've worked with people from Congo. Recently, we had a very deep meetings with Congo and with many other black nations. Uh, a couple of months ago, I had a, a very brief uh, meeting with some activists from uh, New Papua Guinea, who are also black people who are struggling for their independence as well. And uh, I've also been engaged with the people of the Rohingya Muslim people who are black people. It's, it's, a, it's a plight that is very close to my heart as well. So we do not live in an island in Africa and we fight in a global war and we must recognize this and we must know that it is effective for us to link up with other network of uh, people around the world who suffer from the same thing. Our forebears in Africa, they used to work within the Pan-African network to fight for the freedom of Africa. Kwame Nkrumah actually said that the independence of Ghana is useless without the independence of Africa. And I will say the same thing for Ambazonia. The independence of Ambazonia will be useless without the independence of other African states. And I will be launching this new platform I will be. I have saved some small money for this. Once I launch it, I believe it is going to help me in my advocacy for Ambazonia as well as uh, and my advocacy for other African and Black people's rights. I'm focused on people of my color, the skin color that I have, uh, no matter where they are, whether they are in the Caribbean, whether they are in, uh, in in Indonesia, wherever there are Black people, even in India, I will be using this platform to campaign for their cause and to build capacity. Whether I succeed or not would depend on the result. But I believe strongly as a human being that we have to do what we have to do so that when we pass on, we can look at ourselves and say, I did something about the problems I face. I've always been like that all of my life. When I remember, in, uh, I'll tell you this very short story. When I was in secondary school in BHS, the, the principal used to use girls to go to the house and do chores, carry water, help the wife very early in the morning. And it was very, very bad because we woke up around 4 o'clock. It was very cold in Mancon, BHS Mancon. We have to go and carry water from the stream and bathe and all those type of things. And it wasn't just. And I went to the principal's office and I told a lie. I told the principal that the girls who are carrying water for your house pee in those water and you have been drinking their pee. <laughs> and I was given snake beating. But what I accomplished was that the principal was afraid and he could no longer use students to carry water for his house. We were also being used to clear fields and we were being told, I was part of the class prefect at one time, to write names of people who are making noise in class excessively. And they were using these people to clear the school grass. They were not, they were not, it was not about punishing students. They were just exploiting students who have paid huge sum of money in boarding school to study. And I thought that it was wrong. And me and some of my friends who are still today, some of them are in the military in America, in Canada, I don't want to call their names. We decided to threaten to burn the, the school bakery anonymously. And it worked. I've been fighting like this all my life. In Boya, in, uh, in Chang, I did the same thing. So when I stood off my country, Ambazonia, it was a natural thing to do for me. I am a champion. I'm a fighter of people. 
So I fight for my people. I'm in this struggle, not because of anything, not because of fame, not because I want power, not because I want anything. It is just in my nature to fight against injustice for other people. Maybe it's from my background, as somebody who witnessed my father has been traumatized with the death of our people in Lake Nios and how he, he became a, 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 a people's person and became an SDF mayor and things like that. Maybe that have an effect on me, but it is my nature to stand up against injustice. I just cannot help myself. I'm just born like that. And I believe I will do it for Africa and for other African countries. I know we have a lot in our plate in Ambazonia, but I believe in multitasking. I believe this is what I was born to do. And I believe I'm doing the right thing. If you are righteous, you do right. And I believe this is the right thing to do. And I'll do it in my own small way. So that is it. 